All right, back at it again. Oh, patient again. This is like the fourth time in a row now. Um, hmm. well, I mean, these felon data lists aren't too bad. Molting Amp would be pretty good to start with. Steel Enhancer as well. Battering Ram, not so much. Hopefully we get offered Wrathful. That's all I gotta say. Then the, the game will be much harder if we yeah. don't get Wrathful. Nice. I don't really think Priory's Cloak is very good at all. This dude advanced prototype. It'll allow us to take on some early game shenanigans. You take prototype, you gotta take whatever comes your way. Well, that's unfortunate that we didn't get Molting Imp or any torches here, so now we're just gonna take full fucking damage up there. Oh well, I guess. So much for, like, you know, mitigating damage and shit. Let's put you here. I might as well actually just make this guy stronger. That way I kill that guy. I'll just save myself a fire damage. At this point, I know I'm gonna win because advanced prototype. I might as well save every last bit of fire damage that I can. Since he's got more, might as well put this guy up. And we'll just do that. There's those smolting imps. Twelve damage. Not what I like to see there. Might as well get started on the Hidden Passage. As we've seen, you can use Hidden Passage to pretty much counter Seraph the Patient. Oh, and Sharpen with Wrath. Yes, please. Granted, we are giving up a Wildwood Sap, but I think with Wrathful, dude, you gotta take the spikes when you see him. Don't actually need a banner unit, but it is an Awoken banner. I have an Awoken banner coming up here. Should I just hit both of them up, though? Let me think. I have the double exploding version of Daedalus, so it's possible I lose my dude if some bad thing happens. Hmm. I mean, Sharpen or Awoken doesn't really change anything there. The only thing I would really be looking for in this shop is double stack or something on Sharpen. I think I might just take another chance at Awoken Banner here. Animus' is speed. Yeah, she's really not very good, I feel. Woken Hollow as well. I'm feeling a skip, I think. I, I, honestly, just the stewards are better than them at this point. I mean, I have Hidden Ascension. What if I just made one of these dudes have, like, another multi-strike? That'd be insane. Then I could at least keep one around. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Honestly, I may just not want to remove these stewards because they're pretty good potentially against Seraph the Rip. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I think because I have Wrathful Spikes, I probably don't need to keep these, but maybe I'll just have one with Multi Strike here. And I'll give him health. Nah, I just won't give an upgrade. I'll just <laughs> remove uh, restore, I guess. No sense removing the advanced prototype dudes until later. Spikes, yeah, I should be able to take that. Bad turn to draw this. 
through them up here. It's extra armor. It's the multi-strike one guy. I'd rather wait for the multi-strike two guy. To put behind him. Not him. Damn. I guess I'm gonna have to do this, huh? to save myself fire health. Ah, oh, shit. That didn't kill him. Well. That sucks. Down to 18. There's that guy in the bottom two of the deck. with my screen resolution. Okay there. Jesus. Eh, I don't need them. <clears throat> hmm, now this is interesting. Do I take another sharpen or wildwood sap? Another sharpen. Eh, I should have took wildwood sap probably. I do want to get a good banner in it though, so let's do that. And I'll go for this. Damn it. <sighs> Shattered shell's not too great. I mean, honestly, my stewards do do more damage than the enemies' speed, and they're not quick, which is also good. I think I'll just. I'll just use the stewards this run. Like, I don't need them right from the get-go, probably. You know, you have some turns of leeway with Seraph the Patient. Hold over on this. It'll make it cost less. I don't need this with too much priority. Damn, I should have saved some gold. Oh well. Let's make one of these cheaper. And I can make one of them heal for a bit. Probably should have saved on that. Oh, well. Ooh, nice. We got our we got our sap anyway. Nice. Perfect. I can always I'll vend it later if I need it, but probably not. It's just nice to have. spikes here. I should get rid of the molting imps, maybe. There we go. GG. Oh, he's coming up here. I have hidden ascension on holdover, so I can just start stacking dudes in the back. It doesn't matter. No need 
to check. We all know where that one's going. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't need a banner unit with this. I could even actually take Channel Song here. I really don't need one harm Tome, to be honest. Wilkins Rail Spike might be pretty good, though. Let's see. I think I do like me a Channel Song. That's actually making sense in this particular deck. It's the rare cut time it is, and eh. Even Horned Warrior's not really that much better. I'd almost just not have him, rather not have him in the start. Do think hard draw first, and we'll see if I need Ember. Helvent on something. I don't have a whole lot of gold to spend here, but it might be nice to just start upgrading those things and get some removals in. Hmm. Perhaps I want the hell then. Just because I don't have actually any armor cards at the moment. Do need some, probably some sustain. Let's try that. I can get some tire health and gold too. So I will help and sap for now. Mm. Obviously going all in on Wrathful. Does hurt Wrathful a bit. But I think it'll be fine. If I can just hopefully get to my cards in time, it should be fine. Otherwise I'll have a lot of Scourges shuffling in. But that's just how it happens sometimes. I should just get my rage up. Let's get you there. That's the best option there. Get you down, I guess. There. Let's heal you, give me some more rage. No, we definitely aren't getting to the cards we need in time. That guy's seriously living? Hmm. So. 13 by 3 is 29, or 39, plus 50, yeah, there's nothing I can really do to take this guy out, I'm just going to take the damage here no matter what. Let's put this in now, I guess. Really unfortunate to get bottom fucking decked like that, you know. Well, what do we do here? I think we'll do this. Should allow some damage to get in there. We'll take one damage. Big look. It does suck that I didn't really get any. Um, damage there. However, I think I'll have a good enough setup here with two stacks of damage shield that it probably won't matter. I can always bring up another one of these guys. Get another stack of each end. Maybe we can get into the lot of set. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. He's dead anyhow. Uh, I am very dissatisfied with the reinforce, I feel. You know? Like, is it? 
It's just smears it like a win more card. Granted, I do need like defensive options, but it's like the only way it can consistently find value is if you had the cards that made it so you don't need it. I'm gonna skip it. I think it's a pretty bad card, honestly. So I could take a focus growth here, but why does it seem to always give me these three options? Is that like a thing? I swear I've seen these particular three options in the same exact order so many times. Anyway, focus growth would give me a big heal, which I'm currently lacking. Uh, it would cost a lot of amber, which would kind of suck. I think I feel the guarding solution more. There's just better... If I took the ember upgrade, I would, I would have taken focus growth, but man, whatever. So, concealed caverns, removal, and hellvent. Probably need to hellvent a wildwood sap, I'm thinking. Man, my scaling is a little rough. I actually might hellvent the uh, hidden ascension. I think I'll do that. And I can s then I can set up on the middle floor a little more reliably and just push Sheriff off me. Um, kinda want healing. I guess I could take blood for blood. Overall usually saves you more health than you lose, and I don't really need like plus health in my stewards. I want to remove these, maybe. Yeah, these smelting imps are pretty bad. Even worse than the torches, really. And... Oh, I should have removed Battering Ram 2, potentially. Oh well, I'm going to hell vent this Hidden Passage. I do also need to maybe hell vent to sharpen, or at least get it double stacked. I really don't care about Spell Shield, I'm pretty sure. So there is stealth boss, we'll just have to make sure we get that spikes in. Which we did. I can do that. Might as well get that in now. I think I will do Ember as my uh, like next upgrade. Hmm. I do need to like play this, but I don't know what I'd play it with. this maybe? How about this? Give me more rage. It'll give me more rage and armor. I think that's a good thing. I'll do that and hit him. Sure. So this is the big multi-striker. We should bring up first, you next will get the big multi striker the most here. Probably that too. So we have no reason to add more spikes, really. Uh, Channel Song is still proving to be useless. It's nice to have two of these two because if I need, I'll probably have to use one on Seraph at least each turn. Might as well use this to consume it out of the deck, I guess. I don't need this one on holdover anymore. In fact, I don't really need any of them on holdover. I could bring this guy up. Oh, I should have used my regen. Oops. Got how well I can do it this turn. exactly something I was looking for. I would take the pyro shards here, I guess, over these. I don't have the ember to make these work. 
And I'm already needing to spend ember upgrades on at least this shrimp. And, and potentially, uh, definitely the branding right too. So let's just take shards. I can't afford to like upgrade the ember on those other spells. And at this point, I'm with the wildwood saps and branding right. Branding right's my top holdover target at this point. I might as well do Merchant of Magic, I think. I don't... I, it sucks that I don't have, like, better options than, like, Sharpen and Steel Enhancer for my damage buffing, but at least they're there. They're better than nothing. Let's go here first. Hmm. I have so much gold that it's, like... Even Gift of Gratitude's, like, not that great, because I don't have much energy. I'll just do it like this, whatever. Like I said, I have so much gold. This actually probably saves me from more things that could potentially go wrong. Permafrost on... Nothing, really. I'm gonna remove Battering Ram, most likely, so I'm not gonna spend money <laughs> permafrosting it. Could still use one of these being at plus 10, I guess. This definitely goes down to one. Hold over, fuck yes. GG. And then we'll bring this down to one. Mm, I don't know about this damage consumed stuff. I could do it on one of these, I guess. What about purges? I guess these what are better? Torches or what? Let's get rid of batting ram sucks, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of a torch. Let's get rid of two torches. They're okay for scaling my front line, but at this point in the game, I don't know that I need it that much. With the scourges and stuff, you know, I think this just makes sense to thin the deck out. So, I have options to set up in the middle. Do I want to do that? I have three spikes I can hit on, but my draw is down to five. And I think I'll just live with... No, no, I'll do this. I'll do it. There's those spikes. Actually need both these spikes to really, you know, maximize that. And let's bring one of them up. Just save us some cards drawn and screw just need to be played the next turn. I'd love to play this, but I don't really need it. Um, we'll just keep this guy and bring you up. Get you scaled. Bye bye, Brandon. Right, I'm definitely needing Ember upgrade. So, granted, I have to burn stuff on like scourges and stuff, but I think overall, I still would rather have an Ember upgrade. I'm gonna bring you up. Let's give you a good heal. I just want to do this while I can actually get off. Probably should have brought him up. Oops. Whatever. Next turn, I can do it. Have him burn out some stuff here. Bringing you up. We're not taking fire damage. Why don't we just bring you up too? Very easy plays here. Let's not have both of them in, I guess. Don't need both anymore. Spikes is actually pretty good here. Oh, 
Is that random, right? I think we're gonna beat the patient. So, most likely if there's a crappy trial this next ring, I'll just skip it. Ooh, dark deal. That's some offensive scaling that we were looking for. So, moment of truth. I mean, both these are zero cost on holdover. This is only a one cost. I think I, the Scourge just made my Ember seem worse than it is. I actually, I don't, I don't have any cards that cost two. A lot of them cost zero. I have three cards on holdover. I only have one card draw card. I think I'm actually feeling this here. Herzl's compound. Yeah. Card draw. I think I like that. Quicker to get to spikes, quicker to get to ascension, just quicker to get to all my answers that I need. I think I'll still do Merchant of Magic for the double stack opportunity. I don't need removals really at this point. Nor do I really need pyre health between these two things. Let's check this out first. Ooh. Probably irrelevant, honestly. I might just take the gold here. If you think about it. I guess I'll take this. I don't know. I can only spare like upgrades on one of my uh, stewards, so I might as well put it all into the triple striking one, though. I think I'm taking Hellvent here, right? I would Hellvent the armor, maybe. So really, just no point in taking either of these, really, unless I want to take the armor one. I guess I could take the armor one, whatever. It's probably worth more than the gold. It's really not very good, though. Endless could get me out of a bad situation. Let's take it, because I can't really afford the one harms to him, ember-wise. So for whatever reason, I or die early, I could put it on a steward or something, or yeah, who knows? Hmm. Full wrathful for show. Oops, almost didn't take a look at my magic. Well, I could give myself even better. Wild would snap, sure, why not? It's don't really have much else to put an upgrade like that on. I don't know if I'm feeling that upgrade. Damn, there goes that holdover. Let's make... I think at any rate we want to make like some of these things zero like that, maybe. Maybe even just one of these, yeah. Then I'm be able to use it for scaling. I don't know, I guess I take this just on one of these. If I'm, I'm, if I'm gonna be dark dealing things in the back, I guess that can make sense. Heaven's Seal? Purifiers are gonna be annoying. The Penitent, oh. I missed one. Yeah, I'm making my end game guide. There must so there's five different variations of and huh, that's weird. Okay. Good to know that I missed one. Well anyway, let's see. Heaven Seal. I am very low on gold. I could probably use it. Heaven Seal is like really tough. But I think I can take this. It's not like I'm uh, let's do this. And he can go up here for now. We'll put that in. I definitely want to get everyone on one floor sooner than later. Alright, let's get you up here. Let's try to get up to 10 spikes on the frontliner. Oh, I should have put him down, damn it. Um, well, anyway, he can go down this turn. He'll lose his damage shield, but we have holdover on the whatever you call it, so that'll be fine. And I guess I'll just do that for whatever reason he dies. Let's bring you up. Play these out. Put 
more of this on maybe. Let's get your ass out of here. Give our spire some health. And since you have three, let's go ahead and do that. that branding right sooner than later. Do that again, get some higher health. I think actually extra, oh I have the extra spikes here, so we'll do that and then I will do this right. Might as well bring this guy up, huh? It's more higher health. Gaining a lot of health here. So you're up to eight spikes, still not enough to actually gain armor from them, so we might as well keep applying that. Spring you up, try to get that higher health. I don't need two of those. Let's get that guy some stuff. get much armor on him, but we'll get some regen going here. Alright. I'm definitely glad I took double card draw. Being able to dig through things is pretty good. Ooh, tireless climb. Bunch of shields. Hmm. I think I like Tireless Climb. That's pretty good against the patient. Cycle of Life? I don't really have the Ember for that, though. I am hitting up a Merchant of Magic. I think I'd rather just have quicker access to spikes. I do need five spikes to kill the things at, for Seraph, and I may not get a double stack in. I think we're definitely going this way. Let's check out these. Nope. Nope. Yep. And now we have even more card draw. Uh, let's check the merchant out. Hold over. I could potentially just put this sharpen on hold over. Though I feel this is actually better than Dark Deal. Actually, what am I talking about? Tiresome Climb. Yeah, Tiresome Climb. <laughs> GG, dude. Even though these aren't holdover, I'll just... Yeah. That is definitely deep GG. Do this to a heal, I guess. I don't really need to reroll for the artifacts. Most likely whatever I get here is better. Yeah, case in point. This is double stacked. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this at one cost so I can use it on backline. Wait, I could make this double stack versus this. Uh, I think it still spikes is a more imperative to get to. And consume on one of these torches, I guess. I don't know, use it against a guildwing and just shoot it at what's his name himself. So, what do I do here? Just get that, maybe. I think either that, yeah, let's do that. Alright. Gives me scaling up damage and spikes. I think we got this guy in the bag. I've got minimum 8 cards drawn in the turn. It's pretty good if you ask me. Um. I can just sting that guy. Just do this, this, that, and that.
Hmm. I don't actually... Yeah. I think I'm actually just going to put him down for now. Actually, I'll, I'll put him down. It's just worth giving him an extra thing for. Possibly. Um, I'm not going to get a, a tick for just the regen, though. Okay, so we've got these. I should play one at the cost of giving him a lot, but actually, I don't know. I do want to keep one on holdover, I'm pretty sure, so let's just do it with one, and eventually I'll get into this tireless climb chaining that hopefully we'll be able to make some good use of. So let's put it back there for now. We do want to do this and keep this on hold over here. Alright, I like that. Alright, let's get your ass off of us. He is above normal surf damage by one at the moment, but that won't be too bad. I'm gonna have him with pretty good amount of uh, problems, and I'll just put Endless on him, I guess. I think I'll actually put it on him. Do I need to keep this? I kind of doubt it. I don't think so. Alright, get your ass off of us. Get more armor. Man, it sucks to not be able to play this guy, but he'll die if I put him down. So we'll just keep the regen stacking, I guess. This guy will get through, but whatever. OS off of us. Keep that en energy going. Put some damage back here. Could do this. steward go? Is he like... Oh, both of them are just down there. Oh well. Do I want to play this? Let's think about this. I don't have like as many stewards as I could have, but I've got a lot of armor. If I do this now, he'll come up with six. I think I do play it. Let's go ahead and bring you up for extra armor, I guess. But otherwise, let's just do that. I think this is fine to do this. Yep, he's dead. And a masterful execution of the Seraph the Patient again. I'm starting to like patient. In this particular combo, it's arguably easier than chased. Mm, that's a pretty good score. Alright, until next time.